Ali Daily News, September 7, 2022 USA officials say Russia seeks to buy weapons from North Korea New U.S. intelligence shows Russia is seeking to buy ordnance shells and rockets from North Korea, American officers said history. While Russia's minister to the United Nations denied the allegations, White House prophet John Kirby said Moscow's inquiry shows Russian President Vladimir Putin's despair amid the war in Ukraine. UN warrants presently bar North Korea from dealing munitions to other countries. It has tried to strengthen relations with Russia since the launch of the war and also expressed interest in transferring workers to rebuild Russia enthralled homes in eastern Ukraine. Washington announces limits on chips funded companies' activities in China. The United States Secretary of Commerce said tech companies that admit plutocrat under the new Chips and Science Act will be banned from erecting advanced chip manufactories in China for 10 times. For the Net Politics blog, CFR's Adam Siegel previewed the Chips and Science Act. Thailand lawgivers are set to bounce on whether to strip the junta appointed Senate of the power to choose Thailand's coming high minister. Opposition parties have failed to advance several analogous movements in the history. Syria, Aleppo airport forced to close after Israeli attacks Syria's transportation ministry said Israeli airstrikes took the field out of service for the alternate time in a week. Middle East The Gulf Cooperation Council which comprises Bahrain, Kuwait, Oman, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates, told Netflix to remove content that offends Islamic and social values. In a member on the issue, Saudi State TV showed blurred animated clips that appeared to depict two girls embracing. UN denounces civilian deaths in South Sudan clashes clashes between government forces and the Sudan People's Liberation Movement, army in opposition led to the deaths of 173 civilians between February and May, a new UN report said. Zimbabwe officers have launched a measles vaccination drive after an outbreak of the complaint killed nearly 700 children over the once five months. UN nuclear watchdog calls for safety zone around Ukrainian power plant Russian and Ukrainian officers called for a more detailed offer after UN nuclear chief Rafael Grossi said the countries should establish a nuclear safety and security protection zone around the Zaporizhia nuclear power factory. Bolsonaro calls for supporters to rally on Brazilian Independence Day to bolster his re-election crusade. Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro has called on his sympathizers to attend military processions marking the country's bicentennial moment. At last time's processions, his sympathizers hovered to foray the country's Supreme Court. For foreign affairs, Oliver Stunkel discusses how Bolsonaro threatens Brazilian Republic. Chile President Gabriel Boric replaced five press members, rebalancing his press with further central numbers after choosers rejected the country's new draft constitution in a vote on Sunday. Health officials, COVID-19 could be treated more like flu going forward White House COVID-19 response fellow Ashish Jha said utmost Americans will probably need a single, periodic vaccine to give year-long protection against severe illness. This backgrounder looks at global COVID-19 vaccination sweats. Please subscribe if you like our daily news brief.